Hello and welcomes back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Phaedrin here, my agent. And we are currently on Viaken Space Dock, the Imperial Fleet once again. We're still waiting for a Ratgul Resurgence event. But we have this uh, Pirate Incursion event. Where I believe it's the Nova Blades have invaded the resource-rich planet of Dantooine. Now, I think we go to Dantooine for a certain flashpoint in the future, but I've never actually went to Dantooine myself, so I figured, well, what the hell. Now, you'll kind of have to forgive me and ignore some of the armor here. I was getting ready to maybe do a re-roll, a, a restart as... A Sith Inquisitor. And I'm not sure if you may have noticed. I'm not sure if I actually have made the series public yet. Whether or not it ends up going public. But I did start a new Jedi Knight. Uh, we should be able to actually make use of these other reputation items. Uh, ba -ba 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 Green Enclave. Yep, yeah, good. Creeping closer towards becoming a champion. Lovely. Yeah. Unfortunately, I believe we have the Pirate Incursion event. And then in two weeks' time, we have the Bounty Hunting event. But I may show that off as well. Just because, well, why the hell not? We've got everything else set up. We have um done enough of the Eternal Championship. We have enough influence requisen. Because I have enough of these bloody hides on my person and we completed enough uh, war zone pvp to recruit major pierce we have another companion another person we can recruit into the alliance and we're just waiting for the Rakul resurgence event to grab dr eckard logan that's the plan in any event so And now, our main story. Pirate brigands calling themselves the Nova Blades have besieged a Republic outpost on the remote planet Dantooine. That criminal rabble like the Nova Blades could easily attack a Republic stronghold clearly indicates their weakness and imminent collapse. Didn't really give us much to go on, did they? Ah, uh, ba 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 Nico! Chiho Chuta! Shh, got a headache you wouldn't believe. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a weekly event. Assist the Empire in striking a devastating blow to the Republic. And we'll gain... Surveyor's notes. Notes regarding the landscape of Dantooine. And the Dantooine Initiative. The Dantooine Initiative. I don't think I've ever worked alongside this group, so... There they are. Scallywag. And the scourge of pirates. Imperial forces are looking to increase their foothold on the resource-rich planet of Dantooine. Help is needed to expand from their currently hidden cave base. Okay. Well. Let's get ourselves back on board the Phantom. This is the first evening that the event is taking place. So if we end up on a... I'm guessing there are PvE and PvP missions, similar to the Gree event. And therefore, um, there will be people around. Dantooine. Where will Dantooine be? Probably over here. Hmm, I am mistaken. 
Dantooine, Dantooine. Oh, there we are. An agrarian world of rolling hills, vast fields, and hardy bilba trees? Dantooine is a remote, sparsely inhabited planet. The resilient folk who tend its fields have never minded that most of the galaxy considers their home a backwater. In fact, many prefer it that way. Unfortunately for the citizens, when war erupted anew following the defeat of the Eternal Empire, both sides of the conflict became keenly aware of the strategic importance of this once ignored world. Ah, the defeat of the Eternal Empire, you say? Ha! Ah. Really now? We're in the future, ladies and gentlemen. Dantooine. I think, I could be mistaken, but in Knights of the Old Republic 1, you definitely come to Dantooine. And I think you may come here in Knights of the Old Republic 2 as well. Dantooine is a location for another event. The... I was going to say the pod race rally thing. Yeah. The swoop bike r racing. There you go. So let's wait for this thing to disappear. Any moment. So, map. So we have various quests here. So we have a hidden base. So I'm guessing this is the... No, it's a power station. Okay, the Republic have their own garrison. Yeah, that's right. So I think the swoop bike racing takes place around this area here. So the Republic are here. We're here. There's a power station. A homestead. And a Nova base, base of operations. Colonel Trazen, your name is familiar. Hmm. You have a reputation vendor. I'm pretty well stocked up. We can look like a homesteader. Can look like a Nova Blade. Oh, the Nova Blades have their own walkers. For the Alliance. Anything else of interest? We have a mission board here. Okay. Is it on? Oh. Attention, Dantui. If you are hearing this, then I, Yarvok of the Nova Blades, have seized control of the Dantui power station. Please do not panic or contact the military. This is a simple business transaction. For the low price of just ten... What? No, that is not what you said. Okay, fine, fine. You can edit this part out, yes? Now then. I, Yorvok of the Nova Blades, will return your reactor unharmed for the unbelievably low price of just 15 million credits. If you attempt to use force or do not pay, then blah blah blah, yada yada yada. We all know how this works. Lots of fire. 
and screaming. Remember, there is absolutely no need for violence. You do not want to be shot. Yarvok does not want to waste ammunition. So please, just pay. Okay. We have a Heroic Four mission. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Intelligence has reported that the Nova Blade stole a prototype assault walker from a weapon testing facility on Balmora. Given the pirates' lack of experience with such highly tuned devices, my superiors are concerned this walker might fall into the Republic's eager hands. If you have time to assist in this matter, I am certain that Darth Zarion himself would be most grateful. We have a Heroic 2 mission. Okay. Beware of Hugo. So there's two Heroic 4 missions and a Heroic 2. What rewards are they meant to give? So more of these surveyor's notes. They're all worth a medium amount of reputation. Right, okay. So we need to at least complete 10 daily missions and 5 heroics over the period of the week. We'll turn off the the Heroic Fours for the moment. Ah, then again. People are looking for them. We'll take off the weekly one. Let's not worry about that for now. So there was... The Reputation Vendor. Ah, and there's a medical droid. Right. I was wondering what we can pay... Is the reputation who we use these surveyor's notes on then? This is the lot of it. Yes, right. For the alliance. Nice. Okay. So where are we heading? I can probably share it if he can't. So we want to head here to the controlled farmstead. Oh, we may end up in a, a bit of danger here. There's going to be Republic players doing their own thing here. These are quests that... Oh, shit. Other players or party members have.
Okay, we're all here. Remember, this is the heroic plus two. The easy one. <laughs> damage. Oh, uh, it was temporarily at least. Where the hell do they go? They all seem to... Is there a quick travel node somewhere? Oh! Sorry. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that makes life a hell of a lot easier. Are we all here? There we are.
Nice job. We have a Dread Slayer. Oh! You're gonna pay 15 million? Really? <laughs> At last, someone who understands the civility of piracy. Why fight when you can just pay? That is the Yarvok way. Play Oh well, that's, uh, that's one way to do it, I suppose. Get ourselves back over to the Imperial base. What a PvE instance. Why don't we pick up a few of those daily missions and switch over to the PvP one? And have a bit of fun. So how are we doing with the initiative so far? Oh, we move now. Yeah, very slowly. Oh, oh we must go deeper. Do, 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 do. Just showing off something different. Because why not? Because we can. So we are going to go... Can we pick up? Not at the moment, right. Do those once per day. But to the weekly, we have completed, yeah, three heroic missions. Nice. Right. So, um... Map. Let's, um... Deal with more of the Nova Blade, shall we? I say, I'm not sure if there's anything else you need to do here. It's not a not a large world. As I say, I know there is a a flashpoint here because there is a Jedi enclave or the ruins of one here, and I know the swoop bike racing is takes place over in this region here. I'm guessing it might just be a place for Republic and Imperial players to. Hash it out once again. Which I don't mind at all. No, I might get stabbed by Trufa. <laughs> I know Trufa has looked forward to stabbing me in the back here at some point. Or one of my other characters. Let's just grab them all. And then we'll get outside and see what quests we have available. There's only ourselves and one other Imperial player, so therefore anyone we see running around is probably not going to be friendly. Um. Why not? Why not indeed? So. Let's see what we have to do here. Control a hijacked mouse droid. That sounds like fun. Scan potential targets. The hamper the critical system systems of the planet and jeopardize the Republic's grasp. So we're targeting the wind turbines at least at first. We also need to deal a blow with, to so many of the Republic forces. Deploy mines in the vicinity 
to protect the Imperial base from the Nova Blades. I'm guessing that's something we can do right now. And also take control of that mouse droid. Okay, let's do those first. Those seem nice and easy. So where would we deploy the mines? Ah! to deal with so many Nova Blades. Bloody hell. Stealthy Imperials. These quests may auto-complete. Is it worth finding some more Nova Blades first? Probably. Oh, we have another quest. To loot communicators from the Nova Blades. Part of another quest that we haven't looked at yet. this final mine. Yeah, I figured that might be the case. Sometimes I impress myself. So, we head back this way. I believe there was a structure we could go into Welcome to the Mouse Droid Control Station here. Slice a security terminal, detonate any loose weaponry, rupture a water main, and distract five technicians. We can announce ourselves to the world, give ourselves extra speed, or disconnect. Ah, I see. Oh, see, stay out of water. Hey! Watch out for the water. Simply no adherence to safety codes. See what it gets you?
<laughs> We've got to stare at the water. Um. Okay, just direct the technicians. Water main. We need to introduce a virus. Well done. We got a good peek inside their security systems, and it's absolute chaos over there. That sounds like a good thing. Oh, do we have another? We complete six daily missions. Oh yeah, there is. Patrol. We'll get us some more surveyor's notes and another blue reputation bonus item. Okay. So, what else do we have? Do we need to scan critical infrastructure? While the Nova Blades are providing a good cover of chaos for Imperial operations, they will not hesitate to attack Imperial forces. In order to avoid unnecessary engagements, Imperial Intelligence, <laughs> yeah, what's left of it, wants you to place trackers on Nova Blade vehicles and obtain their communicators so we can monitor their movements. Okay. The Republic has powerful anti-air turret emplacements around their base. Hunt down their officers, get their access codes. Turn the Republic guns against their own ships. Okay. And of course, Dantooine's abundant food resources are a critical part of the Republic's supply chain. Cripple their food production. Okay. So next is look into the Nova Blades. Right. Okay. We need some of their communicators anyway. We need to deal with so many of the Republic forces as well. Let us not be afraid to get our hands dirty. Oh, where's my companion? Nico? Was it me? Tag their ship. Oh, the speeder. Speeder, speeder, bike, and ship. we're heading this way we might as well tag Ooh. the wind turbines as well you gotta have to shoot someone aren't I well, that one's not getting up
wind resources generate 63.8% of the power stores on Dantooine. Okay, sabotage at least three of the wind turbines. Realized there were uh, more Nova Blades hiding nearby. Okay, let's get a few more communicators. Sabotage the wind turbines. Wind turbines are dealt with. Now we need to scan their communication center. Air here. Can we? Yeah. We are looking for an officer. Here. Nothing personal. Myself. 
you know, deal with some of the militia. That one's not getting up. Too easy. One more food stockpile, and we should be good here. Do need to deal with one more Jedi as well. Oh no, it's a uh, militia, sorry. Sometimes I impress myself. Wasn't looking at the the right correct the <coughs> the correct quest. Oh well, that's the case. Personal. There we are. Perfect. So now. Locate and scan the Republic's communications center. Is that that over there? Oh no. Integral Republic communications equipment provides a signal boost link for all incoming and outgoing communications. An ideal target for slicing, hijacking, or destruction to help impede Republic operation capabilities. Well, capacity, I should say. And now they want us to find a vantage point. Okay. Well, it's, there's another anti-air turret here. Let's uh, deal with that first. Delta battery, check your fire. Those are friendlies. I repeat, you are firing on friendly ships. Okay, now that we have a nice vantage point. Oh, damage the transport rail. Don't mind if I do. Get over and scam the scan the dam itself for weakness. Before we do that, let's do the final two anti-air turrets. Watch your backs. 
Here's the Republic base of operations. Gonna have to shoot someone, aren't I? Take a nap. Sometimes I impress myself. All units stay alert. We have reports of Imperial forces taking control of our gun emplacements. Hunker down and watch out. We're deploying units to retake our guns. No, seriously, it's no one's doing it. You're just very poor shot. We can climb onto the dam from over here. A vulnerability here. Dam structural integrity is compromised. There it would require minimal application of force to demolish the structure. Okay. A little scout camp here. Very sneaky. Okay. Doesn't seem like we have to stand around. We just need to get to a certain position. And then activate this resonance analyzer. There we are. Quests complete. And that's everything, isn't it? Okay. Well, that was the pirate incursion. I don't think there were any other quests apart from maybe trying to sneak into the Republic base. Let's get back over there and have another look. Lure stretch. So until tomorrow, Vadron couldn't continue with any of the, uh, I'll pick up any of the other quests. We are still not even considered an outsider. I'm pretty well stocked up. Hire a professional. Allows you to sign a contract. Allowing you to summon a new companion. Quick Vrick. The fastest hydro spanner in the Western Reaches. Ah. For the Alliance. Interesting. How oh, very interesting. Okay. Well, if that's the case. Um, well, we'll take a break here. I might as well... Uh, should I pause here with Vadron? Actually, we'll get ourselves back to the fleet. I'll, I'll do that my own time. We'll take a break. Vadron may be used to purchase some armor for another character. Since he has most of my credits right now. But, we'll take a break here. Thank you all for joining me with another interlude part of Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment... Hopefully you're not, not mining all these numerous interlude parts. When we come back with Adrian, we might look at some uh, bounty hunting. As, um, as I say, we're having to wait for at least another three, maybe even four weeks 
before we have the Rackle Resurgence event. But that's for me to worry about, not you. <laughs> Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.